Welcome to San Carlos. Today we celebrate the Feast of Christ the King. This is the last Sunday of the church year. Next week we begin the new season of Advent. You'll find the lyrics for today's hymns in our parish bulletin, which can be accessed from the parish website, sancarloscathedral.org. Please give your all in worshiping God today. During the month of November, before each Mass, we are singing a special prayer for those who have died in our parish within the last year. The names of our beloved dead will be prayed for individually as we sing, We Remember. The Latin words in the refrain are Lux Eterna, Perpetual Light, and Dona Eis Requiem, Grant Them Eternal Peace. Please join in singing this prayer now. Our presider is, will be Bishop Ryan, and our gathering song is Crown Him with Many Crowns. Please sing this with joy now as we celebrate Jesus, the head of our church. <laughs> Crown him with many crowns, the Lamb upon his throne. Crown him the Lord of heaven, where angels sing above. Crown him the 
the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you all. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. And welcome to our celebration this morning. This last Sunday of Ordinary Time brings us into the next beautiful chapter in the way in which we remember and enter into the mysteries of Christ. But today is a solemnity of Christ the King, a beautiful way of seeing how Christ is the core and the heart of our faith and our practice of our faith. So let us prepare ourselves this morning to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are the faithful witness, the Alpha and the Omega. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the firstborn of the dead and ruler of the kings of the earth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you were born and came into the world to testify to the truth. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Son, Lord, Lord God, Lamb of God, God Son of the, the Father. Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand, the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Amen. Amen. 
Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, to Jesus Christ, the firstborn from the dead, you have granted everlasting dominion and a kingship that shall not pass away. Remove from us every desire for privilege and power that we may imitate the sacrificial love of Christ our King. And as a royal and priestly people, serve our Lord humbly in our brothers and sisters. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. As the visions during the night continued, I saw one like a son of man coming on the clouds of heaven. When he reached the ancient one and was presented before him, the one like a son of man received dominion, glory, and kingdom. All peoples, nations, and languages serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away. His kingship shall not be destroyed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Justice serves as God's high throne. Alleluia. The Lord is King. The Lord is King. The Most High over all the earth. The skies proclaim that God is just. God's glory plain to all of us. Unseen spirits join our song. Alleluia. The Lord is King. The Lord is King. The Most High over all. You alone bring hope to birth, greater you than all the earth, far beyond all other gods. Alleluia! The Lord is King, the Lord is King, the Most High. A reading 
from the book of Revelation. Jesus Christ is the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead and ruler of the kings of the earth. To him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood, who has made us into a kingdom, priests for his God and Father, to him be glory and power forever and ever. Amen. Behold, he is coming amid the clouds, and every eye will see him, even those who pierced him. All the peoples of the earth will lament him. Yes, amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, the one who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Sing alleluia, sing alleluia, sing alleluia to the Lord. Sing alleluia, sing alleluia, sing alleluia to the Lord. Sing God's praise, sing God's praise, sing alleluia to the Lord. He is King. Lord, and by all creation adored, He chose us as a people, all His own. Sing, sing alleluia, sing alleluia, sing alleluia to the Lord. Sing alleluia, sing alleluia, sing alleluia to the Lord. Sing Alleluia to the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Pilate said to Jesus, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, Do you say this on your own, or have others told you about me? Pilate answered, I'm not a Jew, am I? Your own nation and the chief priests handed you over to me. What have you done? And Jesus answered, My kingdom does not belong to this world. If my kingdom did belong to this world, my attendants would be fighting to keep me from being handed over to the Jews. But that is, as it is, my kingdom is not here. So Pilate said to him, then you're a king. Jesus answered, you say I am a king. And for this I was born, and for this I came into the world to testify to the truth. Everyone who belongs to the truth listens to my voice. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Sing alleluia, sing alleluia, sing alleluia to the Lord. Sing alleluia, sing alleluia, sing alleluia to the Lord. Sing God's praise, sing God's praise, sing alleluia to the Lord. My brothers and sisters, <coughs> you know, 
There may not be a more dramatic and real moment in the Gospels than the one with today's Gospel and how it begins. Three very human figures drawn together. A Roman emperor hated by the people he ruled in Caesar's name. A religious group who hated Pilate but needed his power. And Jesus of Nazareth. And the first two ultimately came together to crucify Jesus. But the words of Jesus would endure and be fulfilled You say I am a king, for this I was born and for this I came into the world, to testify to the truth. These words remain to this very day in so many ways expressed in our Gospels. To testify to the truth. Jesus would lay down his human life so that we, his followers, are to share in his divine life. Even in the different ways that Christ expressed this truth throughout his life, it remains a mystery. It, it, it remains a mystery as it becomes a treasured aspect of our lives. It seeps deep into the core of our being, even as it retains its mystery in the comings and goings of our daily life. Through church teachings, we've learned ways of expressing this life. For example, regarding grace, how do we talk about grace in a practical way, in a daily way? Faith, hope, charity, lived out in our daily comings and goings. Sometimes I find that clear. I get it. It makes all the sense. And then suddenly it slips out of my hands. And then I have to go shake things down and to explore once again these mysteries of God's grace. But our faith is experienced in our human and bodily and emotional lives. And one way we can describe this faith journey is just to say it's sacramental. Signs. Signs that are grace in a way that fits our human journey. We wash the human body in baptism. Even as we speak the words which are a blend of grace. I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. We wash the person. I remember a number of years ago, I was with a group of my brother priests. We were having dinner at a doctor's house, whom we all knew very well. He had been a doctor at that time many years. And he had delivered lots of children. So as we talked, we talked about our work, we talked about our parishes. And one of the priests brought up that we did a lot of baptisms. Almost kind of like so many baptisms. And the doctor then, who delivered babies, said, you guys... I baptize as many, if not more, than you baptize. 
We invoke the Holy Spirit for the sacrament of confirmation by imposing hands. Someone said to me once, I love the way you impress the Holy Spirit on the candidates for the sacrament. I'm glad. The Eucharist, the liturgies of the Eucharist, human and touchable and real, the breaking of the bread, couples entering matrimony, they are the ministers of the sacrament, husband to wife and wife to husband. And when death approaches or sickness, we anoint and touch the person with the oil of the sick. And what I just described are the very human aspects of our life of grace in the church as the body of Christ. In this uh, tangibility, it is grace felt, touched, absorbed, lived out in our daily lives. What are the final words of the gospel as Jesus faces his crucifixion? You say, I am king. For this I was born, and for this I came into the world, to testify to the truth. Everyone who belongs to the truth listens to my voice. What is more real and human and holy than the voice? Everyone who belongs to the truth listens to my voice. Our faith finds an anchor in our body along with our imagination, our intelligence, and our sincerity and creativity. I have a poem. It's by Antonio Machado, Spanish poet. The wind one brilliant day call to my soul with an aroma of jasmine. The wind one brilliant day call to my soul with an aroma of jasmine. In return for this jasmine odor, I'd like the odor of your roses. In return for the jasmine odor, I'd like the odor of your roses. I have no roses. I have no roses. I have no flowers left now in my garden. They're all dead. Well, then I'll take the waters of the fountains and the yellow leaves and the dried up petals. Then I'll take the waters of the fountains and the yellow leaves and the dried up petals. The wind left. I wept. I said to my soul, what have you done? with the garden entrusted to your soul. Let's determine we will never lose the sacramental garden in our lives. Let us stand, if you're sitting, <laughs> uh, and we'll recite the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. 
Let us now pray for the intentions of our brothers and our sisters. For the Church, for Pope Francis, Bishop Danny, and all clergy, that they may continue to gently guide us and reveal the ultimate relationship to God and creation. Help us to be open to a deeper spiritual depth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our church community, that we not be distracted by the social political kingdoms of this world, but lean on God's love as our sole strategy and protection. Help us to be witnesses to his vision for a tomorrow filled with compassion and hope. Help us to build God's kingdom on earth, but also invest our gifts in God's eternal kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all who are rebuilding their lives, that God will restore the sick to health, guide the unemployed to new opportunities, provide the needed resources to those homeless, those denied dignity, those without employment. <clears throat> Grant them the peace of knowing that Christ the King will never abandon them, no tire of tending to their needs. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For protection of the earth, that God will guide world leaders and each of us in caring for the earth and give us the courage to follow through on difficult choices to preserve our common home. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are facing the holidays with anxiety because of grief, divorce, estrangement, financial distress, and other personal tragedies, may they be protected from crippling fear and place their trust in the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, especially those whose names are written and placed here on our altar of remembrance, and those whose pictures, names, are displayed on the altar of the dead, that they may live forever in the glory of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And at this Mass, we are especially remembering Thelma and John Dry, Bill Carnazzo and the intentions of his family, Teresa Kelly Ann Flood, Joseph Peter Rossi, All the Souls in Purgatory, Vince Poma, Matteo Michele, Anna and Katie Sardina, Salvatore and Antonia Di Maria, Eva Flores. For these and all intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. We're finishing, as it were, this month so very quickly, in which we have remembered our beloved dead. Those people in our lives that are especially a, a depth, bring a depth of feeling and remembrance and sorrow, but also hope. So we pray then, once again, for the repose of the soul of all of our loved ones, for those who have no one to pray for them, and ask that all of your love is poured into them, promised to us by the gift of your life, death, and resurrection, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. At the name of Jesus. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue confess him. 
King of glory now. Jesus is Lord, King of glory now. Christ Jesus will come at the end of time. Come with jubilation to call us home until that day you and I will proclaim at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow every tongue confess him King of glory now Jesus is Lord, King of glory now. May I sacrifice in your sight to thee to please thee, dear Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from all of my sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice by which the human race is reconciled to you, we humbly pray that your Son himself may bestow upon all nations the gifts of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you anointed your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the oil of gladness as eternal priest and King of all creation, so that by offering himself on the altar of the cross as a spotless sacrifice to bring us peace, he might accomplish the mysteries of human redemption and making all created things subject to his rule, he might present to the immensity of your majesty an eternal and universal kingdom, a kingdom of truth and life, a kingdom of holiness and grace, a kingdom of justice, love, and peace. And so with the angels and the archangels and the thrones and dominions, with all of the hosts and the powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he. Comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. And therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become 
the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night that he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. You have set us free. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, as we look forward to the second coming, we offer in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, and grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles, glorious martyrs, with all of the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. And may the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, and advance the peace and salvation of all of the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis and our bishop and the order of bishops and all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. And in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all of your children scattered throughout the world. And to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. And there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And let us offer to each other a sign of God's peace. Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. On us, have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Grant Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. In Christ alone. In Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my song. This cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace, when fears are stilled, when striving cease, my comforter, my all in all, here in the love of Christ I stand.
Let us pray. Having received the food of immortality, we ask, O Lord, that glorying in obedience to the commands of Christ, the King of the universe, we may live with him eternally in his heavenly kingdom, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Thank certainly our musicians and uh, what would I suppose our chief uh, uh, employer of making this particular uh, picture, this, uh, this, this experience of celebrating the Eucharist, those who have assisted me, and all of you who are home. May this be a special moment of grace and also an introduction then to the season of Advent coming up, fulfilled, of course, in the Feast of Easter. So, thanking my musicians as well. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord in one another. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. To Jesus Christ, our sovereign King. To Jesus Christ, our sovereign King, who is the world's salvation, all praise and homage do we bring, and thanks and adoration. Christ Jesus Victor, Christ Jesus Ruler, Christ Jesus Lord and Redeemer. To Thee and to Thy Church, Great King, we pledge our hearts oblation. Until before Thy throne we sing in endless jubilation. Christ Jesus, Victor, Christ Jesus, Ruler, Christ Jesus, 